welcome to my laboratory. I thought instead of doing just random experiments, it'd be nice if uh, you YouTubers who are watching this uh, were able to write in and, and give me some ideas and suggestions of experiments you would like to see, and I'll try my best to perform them. Uh, I will be getting a Patreon uh, subscription uh, soon enough, but in the meantime, I thought I'd just keep us entertained by doing some uh, experiments uh, using some elements. And one element that particularly interests me is that of sulfur. Uh, this is precipitated sulfur, and the sulfur comes uh, out of the ground, um, and it is mined using steam, and it comes out in the form of what this is now called roll sulfur. Now, sulfur, of course, is spelled S U L P H U R, not S U L F U R, as you Americans may like to spell it. Um, but anyway, thought we'd do some fun with it. And today I want to show off just my newly commissioned fume cupboard. It still needs uh, plumbed out uh, and uh, proper gas and things put in, but I'll get doing that very, very soon. And we'll be able to do lots of exciting experiments in the fume cupboard. Now, of course, one thing uh, that sulphur is used in is uh, gunpowder. And we're going to play about with that uh, later on in the future. And I have some. Lovely little antique, uh, little, little uh, astro rocket. Um, it's an antique rocket, it's about 50 years old, so it is. Uh, I don't even know if it works. Uh, and of course, gunpowder is used uh, in, in rockets and things. And one of the things that um, is a component of gunpowder is a substance called potassium nitrate. And I have some of it here, or saltpeter. Um, actually, it's made from dung and urine, especially, but <laughs> this one is specifically pure. For medical purposes. So what I've got, if my assistant just turns around, uh, what we're going to do just to, I suppose, commission my new uh, fume cupboard is to put some potassium nitrate in this little boiling tube and we're going to heat it up and we're going to melt it and we're going to see why potassium nitrate is used in gunpowder because it likes to give up its oxygen very easily and why uh, carbon is used in uh, gunpowder and why specifically sulfur is used. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up, it's going to melt, it's going to begin up, give off oxygen and then we're going to see what happens. So I'll put up the gas here. And one thing I should say is these initial videos will be a bit maybe messy and um, because we're trying to avoid editing which takes for hours but we'll get around to that when I get myself a decent phone. So my assistant's just going to hold the phone against the glass window here and we're going to see what happens whenever I add um, some carbon in the form of some wood. Okay and then we're going to add a little block of sulphur which I have broken up from uh, the roll sulphur which is simply sulphur which has come up from the ground using uh, 180 degrees uh, steam pressure water and then allowed to solidify in uh, little molds which make it this sort of shape. So you can see here that the saltpeter or potassium nitrate is beginning to melt this is the heat of a constant burner. So this will be my first commissioning of my fume cupboard which hopefully will work and take away all the nasty fumes. So I'm just going to put the splints into the melted potassium nitrate and see what happens. Alright, you can try an exothermic reaction. Whoops. Then we're going to add just for a bit of fun, a piece of sulphur, just a, a rock, a piece of sulphur, like this. Let's see what happens. There we go. Really, really, really bright film. It's amazing. Wow. It's as bright as phosphorus now, isn't it? potassium nitrate and sulfur and potassium nitrate it didn't exactly form gunpowder but you can actually see the heat generated has actually begun to melt uh, the boiling tube that it was in and here's one that I, 
I did earlier and as it solidifies you can see the boiling tubes all distorted and melted but you get this beautiful colour um, of um, potassium sulphides and potassium carbonates uh, that's left over. So anyway that's my fume cupboard officially commissioned. Congratulations fume cupboard. We are not filled with sulphur dioxide here um, and please uh, like and subscribe and I'll make some more videos in the future. Bye!